Oh. And now we have the most personal of matches. Gold Dust versus Stardust for control of the Rhodes Legacy, the final dream. Gold Dust, of course, his name is uh, his actual name is Dustin Rhodes, and uh, and uh, Stardust is Cody Rhodes. They are both sons of the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, and uh, they've been having a bitter rivalry in their weird gimmicks over the control of the legacy of Dusty Rhodes, the American Dream, and uh, they decided to settle it here in a ladder match at Night of Champions. Once again, coming at you live from Nashville, Tennessee, a full booking of action. We've just seen so many amazing wrestling actions happening tonight uh Soli Sylvester and Jaeger Boy Jaeger Boy commentating live from Nashville and I don't know what I can say about this I, I don't know what there is to say uh these two brothers who have worked together for so long are and, and have such a storied history within wrestling around the world and now it's it's just come to this where where they have no respect for each other they have no honor no respect no honor and as dusty Rhodes would say there is no honor among thieves and uh that is perhaps that is something he would have to say about his own son cody Rhodes stardust because uh he stole the Rhodes legacy he stole all of the files and money and all that sort of thing from his brother gold dust uh but he agreed to put it up here in this ladder match, and that is what is contained in the briefcase above the ring. And whoever climbs to the top of the ladder first gets control of all of the copyrights, all of the trademarks, images, video, uh, and uh, and we're 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 really pulling for Stardust here, frankly, because we know that Stardust is Stardust. His stated intention is to destroy all of those things, is to just throw them into a river, or burn them, or uh, any other such manner of destruction that you can think of. Goldust really has been clear that he finds his little brother to be silly. That he he doesn't see him to have the foresight that Goldust has. And Stardust, likewise, has found his brother to be too controlling. There's just too... uh, He he asks so much out of Stardust all the time. And, And Stardust wants to go his own path. He wants to go his own way. And I completely understand where they both come from. But God, I hope that Goldust wins. To see that legacy destroyed as Stardust desires would just be heartbreaking. That being said, these two are both fierce, intense competitors, and we're going to get a hell of a match here. Stardust catching the big boot and going for the clothesline. Or cold dust, I mean. The ladder is still outside of the ring. They've decided to keep it basic with some wrestling action here in the beginning. We got a, a scoop slam falcon arrow there from Stardust. Standing shoulder tackle from Gold Dust, who flips over Stardust and goes for an arm ringer. Both of these men wearing thick vinyl outfits. That's uh, got to be hot. And this is extremely hot, and we have to wonder how long this match will even be able to go, because uh, how long will either of these men be able to breathe in their costumes? I mean, it's, I, at some point, you just have to ask about the safety precautions that these athletes take on. Stardust showing intense disrespect for the traditions of this of this sport and uh, throwing gold dust outside of the ring. Uh, clearly, he is not trying to represent the the, the, the Dusty Rhodes legacy because Dusty Rhodes would never throw a competitor outside of the ring like that to uh, just to spite them. Kicking at the knees, working the legs, fall away slam, or back suplex. I mean, we now have a ladder in the ring, so we've introduced the element of victory. But to see, knee drop. I want to see who first goes for that. Falling knee drop in the style of Ric Flair, who is, uh, of course, here later on the card. And Ric Flair has to be Ric Flair has to be on top of the world right now with his brothers in Evolution so quickly claiming the tag team championships from the Wyatt family. I'm still just astounded by that match. That was truly shocking, I have to say. Oh, Goldust giving his own little brother the elbow. And God, I, I Hell just... Hell of a power slam there from Stardust. It, it's funny how much I identify with this as someone who also has a little brother that uh, we we grew up doing this kind of stuff and now to, now to see it happening in the ring is like at, at such high stakes as the legacy of the one of the patriarchs of wrestling. Uh, to, to see it coming down like this is, is awe-inspiring. This is true. This is like a novel epic. 
This is what, like, this is Homeric almost. We have one of the great American literary stories here. Uh, two men wrestling over the legacy of their father. <laughs> well, when you say it like that, you make it sound kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> Goldust with the slow, twisting neckbreaker on Stardust. I mean, we're not watching Arrested Development here. This is two men wrestling each other in the ring for the legacy of their father. Tilt will slam. Like, this is real. Falling elbow drop. And Goldust completely in control here. Goes for the drop kick. He seems so angry at his brother Cody that he just is not focused on getting that ladder and getting to the top and, and getting that briefcase. He just wants to put violence into his own brother. Maybe he's trying to smack sense into him, but the look on his face says otherwise. I think he might just be... I, I feel like he might be blinded by rage. And another classic uh, 80s NWA style, uh, an NWA style uh, knife edge. Oh, oh, no! Hitting his brother with a ladder. Why would you do that, Goldust? No, Why? And perhaps we're seeing here why Stardust... He's trying, does... to, he's trying to put his brother out. Perhaps we're seeing here why Stardust doesn't identify with the Rhodes family legacy because uh, Goldust just showing incredible violence towards his brother here and uh, maybe he was just never welcome as a Rhodes brother and as a Rhodes son. Oh, I am seeing suddenly a, a whole new look to this family dynamic. Goldust continuing to just pummel his brother with this... Pummel him in the knee especially. Stare. If he's if he's not careful, his brother may no longer be able to walk after this match, and we have to question the tactical surgery happening here. Just seems inhumane. And we have to start us back on his feet somehow. What what is it worth to what you know? What is this wrestling match worth to Goldust? Maybe Stardust's real issue is that his family has been so wrapped up in wrestling that they don't think of anything else like brotherhood. Could it be? I mean, is his respect for his legacy? as the Rhodes' legacy, is it so great that he would destroy his own brother? And going for an arm ringer into some sort of very complex arm bar setup here. Stardust, perhaps he is uh, bitter at the family legacy of professional wrestling, but he sure is very damn good at it. Very damn good. Climbing the ladder. The other thing to note, though, is that... Getting to we the know... top, almost grabbing the... Uh, oh, but the ladder being tipped over by oh, Goldust. Oh, God. He sends his own brother colliding out of the ring. We both started... We both started in, in Goldust's favor here, but I have to say, I do not approve of these tactics. I, I don't think I do either, but I also don't know would Stardust do the same thing. But look, Stardust is, is uh, Stardust getting ready to set up the crossroads. Is that what he's going for? Indeed, onto the ladder. Stardust saying, what you've got, I can do better. If you've got violence, I can hurt you just as bad. And throwing he's throwing his own him out of the outside ring. of the ring. That's a fantastic tactic. Gold dust, or Stardust might have what it takes here to go all the way to the top. I, He could have it. He could turn this whole thing around. This is, uh, this is yes, very promising. He's Does got, he have he's it? Got the briefcase in he's his got hands. it. He's got the briefcase in his hands. He's tugging at it. He's pulling at it. And, uh... I think Goldust has no response to this. Oh! Does he have it? Struggling with that briefcase, and it looks like Goldust is... Oh! oh Stardust holding hanging! On to the, holding on to the briefcase from the top of the ladder, desperately trying to reach up to his brother. Oh! Electric chair! Suddenly grabbing him into an electric chair from literally nowhere! <laughs> that, that has to be the most stunning comeback I've ever seen! Goldust setting up shattered dreams! Is he gonna do it onto the ladder? Is that what he's trying to do? Oh, oh, on the corner of the ladder. That's the hardest part. Good God. Maybe he's going for a similar tactic. Putting Stardust in the corner here. Throwing him into the turnbuckle. Again with those knife edge chops. Stardust taking a beautiful bump off of it. Oh, Stardust, Stardust with that kneeling reversing. fireman's carry takeover. Again, one of the most popular moves here in OKGW. Really changing the entire momentum just like that. Stardust, Goldust putting his brother back into the corner with the hip check, throwing a boot at nothing. The thing that we haven't gotten to come to terms with yet is that we're also talking about Goldust and Stardust. Mm -hmm. To say that they have a sense of ethics might be giving them a little too much credit. Uh, maybe despite, despite... maybe the years of wrestling, the years of, of being in this industry... Uh, maybe it's kind of getting to their heads. Maybe they don't. Stardust thrown out of the ring. Goldust is uh, looking to set up the ladder, and he might be taking control of the Rhodes legacy right here and right now. 
they might not be valuing their brotherhood, but do they even value that each other are brothers? Like, do they even know? And that's oh, it. Oh, and that's it. That's Goldust amazing. Takes control. Goldus takes control of the family legacy. It is just like the older brother to let the younger brother do all of the work in weakening the uh, the title at the top of the ladder. He spent so long standing up there, and Goldust just snipes it right off. And we just know, takes it right off. And we know for a fact that Goldust will do right by the Rhodes legacy. But the real question is. Does does his love for the fa- does his love for his father mean that he has lost the love of the crowd? And does he does he does he still have a relationship with his brother? Does this mean that they can now come together, or has the damage been done? Can has that ro- bond been severed completely? Can the Rhodes family recover from such an intense rivalry that culminated here at Night of Champions? We're going to have to find out later.